God is a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. He's a God of wisdom. He's a God of goodness. He's also a God of vengeance. Is also a God of judgment. The same way he delights in showing mercy, that is the same potency that he delights in showing vengeance. The same way he delights in blessing, that's the same way he can also curse you. And if God curses you, no prophet can, um, can reverse it. The same way he gives prosperity, that's the same way he gives adversity. He can give prosperity. He can also give adversity. But this morning, I like us to understand that there is need for God to take vengeance on the issues of your life. There must be a boundary line between vengeance and wickedness. Because many see vengeance as wickedness. No, it's a misplacement. Scripture made us to understand that the wicked shall do more wickedly. The wicked. And in Psalm 7, Psalm 7 and verse 9, God is angry with the wicked every day. Who is the wicked? The wicked is the one that delights in doing evil. The wicked is the one that delights in doing what? Evil. Vengeance is very crucial for the fulfillment of God's plan and purpose for your life and my life. And without missing word, it is impossible for you to break through, enter into your next levels, experience the fullness of God's plan and purpose for your life without vengeance showing up. There are enemies that are vowed to stop you, to stop the plan of God for your life, to even kill you. Until vengeance takes place, there are things you cannot have. There are places you can never enter. There are doors that can never open for you. Take it and believe this. Your principal enemy will never give up until vengeance shows up. It will amaze you and shock you now that the personalities behind what you are going through, 
If God can just expose them to you, you'll be surprised. You say, no, I can't believe this. No, he cannot do it to me. <laughs> you were not there when he took the covenant to deal with you. You are not there, so... So vengeance is crucial for divine agenda. Let me say this at this point. The new dawn we are talking about, some people may never see it if vengeance doesn't take place. Why? There are enemies that are vowed that you cannot change level. I remember one of our pastoral assistants. His name is Pastor Sonny. He was a PA to one. They just gave the man an appointment, not that it was a big appointment. They just gave him an appointment. So from the little, little money that was coming into his hand, he just started this um, five-bedroom flat. And all of a sudden, it was in a dream. Someone went and planted something to make sure that the building does not take place. And truly, truly, in the physical, the exact spot where he saw in the dream, somebody has already planted something. Some building that you see in your family compound that has vowed not to finish, there are forces that bench the building. It's not that money is not coming. They have locked the person up in the realm of the spirit that the building must not be completed. So he came one Saturday morning that this is what he saw. So we went and prayed. And you know, those kind of prayer is not what I pray gently. I shout so that the person that the prayer concern will hear it. It's not the one you sneak and say, Father Lord, whoever is doing it. Oh, Lord! <laughs> so, one old man came and was watching. I said, Lord! Whoever shot this arrow, this building will finish and the person will die! After I finished the prayer, he said, Pastor Sonny, Wekobiwo. I don't know the meaning of Wekobiwo. So, so later I was now saying, what's the man saying? He said, ah, why are you praying our prayer? God will do it for you. But amazingly, that same month, that same man died. I say this now. Whoever is doing you secretly, today they will aspire. Kingsley, one young man very close to me, he comes to help me wash and iron things. He wasn't really doing much. He was doing chair renters. And all of a sudden, a woman that has a shop close to him asked the son to go and poo poo in front of the shop. You know the meaning of that? You know the meaning of that? Shame, reproach, disgrace. So he came and told me in the office that this is exactly what happened. It was a Saturday morning. So as he told me, I said, oh yeah, let's climb back. We just went. I carried oil. I carried blood. I carried matches. So as we got there, Say, Lord, whoever did this, as I anoint it now, as I release the oil, as I release the blood, the person will poo poo till he dies. Why are you laughing? 
Guess what happened? The mother ran from where she is and came out. My Peking, no kimi. I say what? He say na mistake. I saw yeah. Use your hand, pack it. No paper. Use your hand. Punishment upon the wicked. I say, if you use paper, I splash the onion. Use your hand, pack it. Use your hand. She used her hand. I said, go, go, which of your son? He brought the boy. I said, oh yeah, use your hand. Start cleaning it. <laughs> your enemy will see fire today. I finished praying the prayer. Immediately. Say with me, immediately. immediately. She no one die. She repents. She repents. She repents. Quick, quick. Whoever wants to close your door, today we will close their head. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The vengeance of God is real. The vengeance of God is real. Hear me? I said this in the first service. I want to say it again. Only Jesus. Say with me, only Jesus. only Jesus. Has that right to pray that prayer. Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. You are not permitted to pray that prayer now. Now they know what they are doing. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yeah. If you had taken vengeance on the issue that you will have taken vengeance, your story will have changed since. You have just been praying mumu mumu prayer. Vengeance is crucial for doors to open. Why there are forces, human agents. Now let's read that scripture again. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse, is it verse 11? Verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do what? Because you were busy saying, okay, let it go. There are some things that we don't let go. Because if you let them go, they will have the impression that the thing didn't touch you enough. So they will go and prepare the one that will be more terrible for you. Because a sentence against an evil work is not speedily executed. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is set to do is set in them to do evil. Which means, they will come to do more evil. More evil. More evil. More evil. Somebody is angry with the message. And it's even the person that needs the prayer. It's the person that needs the prayer and he's doing as if uh, he's holier than God. I asked this question in the first service. I want to ask you now. Why didn't God forgive Lucifer? Holy people. Why didn't God forgive Lucifer? When someone has made up his mind to do evil, there is little or nothing you can do to change them. Is God not a righteous God? Is he not a merciful God? 
what did Lucifer do that he could not forgive? And he said, cast him out. Because the one I'm seeing him, the all-knowing God, if you don't cast this man out, he will do more evil. There was a young man who was showing kindness. I too show kindness. You too show kindness. Am I correct? The person he showed kindness was the one that locked him up financially until he became a pauper. He used the money he gave to him. Now, some of your undoings are the people you have helped. Quote me, I said so. Some of the people you have helped, you have favored. You have God used you to wipe away their tears. They are the ones that opened the door for Satan to be fighting you now. And you say, I will not take vengeance against them. Hey, now lie, I go take. God operates, do me, I do you. Jesus said, pray for your enemies. Which prayer point did he give you? Tell me the prayer point. Have you bothered to look at that scripture? Pray for your enemies. What is the prayer point? He said, if they slap you on this side, turn the other side. What is the meaning of the other side? Why didn't he say the other cheek? <laughs> Hear me? If Bishop Oerekbo has not been this brutal, this ministry wouldn't have gone forward. This ministry wouldn't have gone forward. Right in Canaan land, there are still people that come to church with charms. How much more laugh here? There are still people that come to see how things we spoil. But I've always said, I welcome you well. Because my koboko will follow you. <laughs> hear me and hear me well. You have cried enough. You have been delayed enough. You have been frustrated enough. You have been frustrated enough. Jesus said, why men slept? The enemy came to sow tars. I don't know who has sown evil for you, but today is their payday. If you are saying amen, say it better amen. amen. It is impossible for God's plan and purpose for your life to break forth in full limits without vengeance showing up in your favor. Without vengeance showing up in your favor. So you need vengeance. You need vengeance. For God to execute speedily his full plans for your life. I just remember one of my pastoral assistants. Something happened to him. They've been believing God. He didn't want to share with me his challenges. The wife now came and told me. I said, what is it? She was crying. I said, don't cry again. Talk. So I allowed her to finish crying before she talked. What she said shocked me. 
She said, my husband told me that he sees the mother making love to him in the dream. Not the wife or the mother. I said, that is a marine witchcraft. It's, an, it's a strong occultic power. So I said, tell him to come. He said, pastor, he will not come if you don't call him. Ah. I said, Kevin, come. I just quickly call him. I said, this is what your mother is doing to you and you keep quiet. And the mother told the wife, not in the dream, what are you crying for, for a baby? Relax, am I not the one that will be, be bothered that you have not gotten a baby? She was using the boy to increase her powers. So I gave them one, one prayer point. I gave the husband one, give the wife one. Go. They started fire. The woman almost ran mad. She confronted the wife. So you went and reported me to a pastor. She was just shouting. She went and reported me to a pastor. Everywhere she goes, she went and reported me to a pastor. So mumulishly, she followed the daughter, the daughter-in-law to church. You say, Pastor, she is at the gate. Ah, I came out quick, quick. Now you come. <laughs> and she mumulishly came. As she came, I gave it to her. So you locked up your son. So that the wife will not conceive. I said, if you don't free him now, you are dead. What came out from my mouth shocked me. He said, Pastor, no be me do one. I will carry him now to go and show him the person that did the thing to me. Amazingly, he took the son to the man that did the charm. And she told the man that if you don't free her now, pastor don't say she go die. You better free her now so that she don't go die. They brought the thing. They started renouncing. Started renouncing all the evil thing that they have done. After they finished, the young man came back with his wife. I prayed and anointed him and the wife. And that was, I said, tell your mother, if she's not born again, she will not cross this month. She came. Gave her communion, the witch her fast. Gave her communion and wipe away the witchcraft in her life. She became born again. Mysteriously, the following month, she took it. She took it. I don't know where they tied you. Or whoever tied you. Today, their spell over your life will break. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Why will God take vengeance? We took three in the first service. We are going to take three in this service now. So number one, it is the only way God can pacify his wrath against your adversary. Don't forget God said, I will be an adversary to your adversary and an enemy to your enemy. I will be. Let's connect that scripture now. Esther chapter 7 and verse 10. So they hanged Haman on the gallows, which means it was not one gallow. He must have prepared, if this one no catch him, this one go catch him. If, this, if he escaped this one, this one must collect him. On the gallows he has prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. 
Hear this? I don't know who has been planning for you. I don't know who has been bewitching you. I don't know who has been undoing you. I don't know who has been spoiling you. I don't know who has been reproaching you. The only way that God will be pacified is that vengeance will take place against them today. And today, anyone that has been involved in planning your shame, in masterminding your reproach, in cooking your disgrace, today vengeance will smite them. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The beat they have dug for you, the shame they have organized for you, I decree by vengeance it will backfire against them. Then was the king's wrath pacified. Number two, why will God take vengeance? It is the fundamental way that God pleads our cause against our adversaries. David said, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Now, let's look at this scripture, Jeremiah 51 and verse 36. Jeremiah 51 and verse 36. Therefore, thou said the Lord, behold, I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee. So, you are not the one taking vengeance. God is the one taking vengeance for you. And I will take vengeance for thee. And I will dry up her sea. And we make her spring dry. <laughs> the place where they get the money to sponsor trouble for you. Their pockets will dry. Their business will dry. I remember an incident that took place. One of our very close, not extended, very close relative. It was the one sponsoring native doctors against my family. They told me, I said, your punishment, you will be a beggar. Your business will dry. No man will favor you. See, today no man has favored him. The person that took them to the place, they were two. One died on the way. The other one entered the bedroom to bath. He fell down without sickness. He died. He didn't come back. Whoever is sponsoring mischief wickedness, evil against anyone under the sound of my voice. I decree, let vengeance eat them up! That other one, I made sure you will be dying gradually. That was his punishment. You will die gradually. His business dry up. There's what we call the spirit of the emptiers. It's not a gentle spirit. It's stronger than the devourer. When the spirit of the emptier is released against a wicked entity, the wicked entity may be celebrating his wickedness, but he will enter physical and spiritual wilderness where he will not see food to eat. And you know, there is nothing that humbles a man like hunger. If you want to humble a wicked man, subject him into a state of dryness. Anyone sponsoring evil for you, they will enter hunger. They will enter dryness. Their business will collapse. Their business will dry up. Say amen. If you don't have money, will you enter transport? 
Will you have money to pay native doctor? God said, I will take ve that vengeance is what we call instrumental judgment. The one God took in Je Jeremiah 51, verse 36. Instrumental judgment is die slowly. You know the meaning of die slowly? Uh, that is your punishment, you'll be collecting it. After batch one, you collect batch two. After batch two, you collect batch three. I will dry up her sea. The sea means wealth. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Sea means wealth. I will dry up her sea. So the vengeance God will give to some of your enemies today, whatever is boasting their pockets, I decree by vengeance, let the spirits of the empty are goes against them. Why will God take vengeance? Number three, vengeance is the only way God can permanently subdue your enemies. Permanently subdue your enemies. Second Chronicle 20, we read from verse 29 to 30. Second Chronicle 20, verse 29 to 30. And the fear of the law and the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of those countries when they, have had, when they had heard that the Lord fought against the enemies of Israel. <laughs> God is still fighting them till today. I hope you know God is still fighting them till today. So the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet. For his God gave him rest round about. Which means there was no more trouble. In one of the prayers we are going to pray, O oh Lord, by your vengeance, give me rest. God will give you rest today. Amen. Funny enough, five powerful nations came up against Jehoshaphat. I don't know the persons that they are using to fight you. But I want you to hear this. God is coming against them. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. I say God is coming against them. Amen. And when God comes against them, it will utterly waste. It will utterly destroy. I say he will utterly waste. Amen. It will utterly destroy. Amen. Now when we say nations, we are talking about strong men strong men. There are physically strong men. There are other ev strong men that are evil by personality. They know how to do evil. They know how to sponsor wickedness. But today your consolation is this. God is giving you rest. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Something happened. I just remembered it now. One young boy. He used to help me go for errands. In the village. His mother. Just came up one day and said. Please whatever I've done. Forgive me. I was asking myself, I don't stay in the village. So, what have you done? She was crying. So, his own son, no, not a stranger, was doing eye formula. Leave her alone, come over there. <laughs> so, I just dismissed the woman in a hurry. I now called him and said, What's happening? 
Say, don't mind her. All that cries where you see, she they cry. Now, crocodile cry. Now, she they carry the people where they go. Juju. The only thing you will do for me, don't kill her. <laughs> but funny enough, all the people she has been carrying to go and do the juju, they are all dead. I have vowed a vow. If you touch me by mistake, you will die by correction. Just, just try. I won't confront you. I'll just keep you quiet. Forces will just be eating you. Eating you. Vengeance will just be eating you. Before you know what's happening, you are out. Jesus came to die for the world. I didn't come to die for anybody. He has died for everybody. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Somebody is laughing at me. You don't need to laugh at me. Huh? How will you steer up vengeance? We looked at three in the first service. Number one, you must believe the finality of God's word. He says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me what? Void. But it shall accomplish and prosper in the thing wheresoever I send it. So shall my word be. So you must believe the prayer you are going to pray now. You must believe it. Numbers 14 and verse 28, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. So if you are calling upon God to take vengeance against every works of wickedness that is fighting your, your life and his plans for you, God will do it. Number two, how will you steer up vengeance? Believe every scripture will be in your favor. I said it two weeks ago. God cannot, say with me, cannot take side with my enemy. He will never do it. What he told me is that I will be an enemy to your enemy. Not that I will be with your enemy. So if you choose to be my enemy and walk against me, confirmed. God cannot be with you. So if I'm praying against you, it must walk against you. So I don't need to know your face or your name. Oh God, your word says, surely they shall gather, but not by me. Anyone that gather against me, they shall fall. He said, take cancer together and be broken in pieces. Anyone involved in plotting shame, Reproach, blackmail against my life. Let your vengeance eat them up. Let the heaven be like brass for them. Let the earth burn like oven for them. The, the very shame they desire for me, let it come for their family. You must believe the scripture. Why? I've never seek your going down. I've not plotted your shame. Why will you be working against me? You have signed your reproach. So you must believe. The, hear me? We are not just making noise. These words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are what? Life. One woman vowed that Eloho will not marry. <laughs> we did a vengeance service. Eloho will not marry. She locked Eloho up. Her only prayer that day. Whoever is behind my disappointment, swell up and die. The woman was in worry. 
as we finish the prayer, between 1 and 2 o'clock, they carry her to General Hospital Worry. She started swelling like pop off. So, the only thing that was coming out from her heart, hello, forgive me. Hello, forgive me. So, the people that took her, they started hearing what she was saying. Immediately, they called, hello. Hello. Now, your name, she they call, oh. Now, your name, she they call, oh. Come on. Come and ask her so that you can forgive her. I hope you remember I told you the last thing a witch will do is to confess. They can never confess. So, hello called me. That uh, this I said, go, go, go. Just go and hear. We have finished the prayer. Nobody you get you, are, you don't have power to reverse the prayer. You can forgive her, but the prayer is finished. So she now went and met the woman. Hello, forgive me. The first thing that came out from Hello's mouth, what do you do? We make her forgive you. Because the Bible said, he that confesseth his sin and forsake them. Is that not what the Bible said? You will confess and what? Forsake. Now you don't want to confess. That, that's one thing some people do. They don't want to confess. Oh. He that confesseth his sin and forsake them. So I say, what do you do now? Okay, I will forgive you. Talk. That was what I say. She would just say, Hello, forgive me. Hello, forgive me. Hello, forgive me. Never contact light. That was how she expired. What I'm saying happened around August. I'm precise. I'm sure of what I'm saying. It happened around August. Finally, finally. Hello, got married December 4. That's in here. Whoever has sponsored the coven for you. Today, the vengeance of the God of Oyerik will strike them. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And when you are praying this prayer, pray specific targeted prayer. Oh Lord, arise, take vengeance on my behalf. How? For what? Lord, let your vengeance show up against any force, any personality that is behind my marital disappointment. Be specific. You know what you are praying. You are not calling anybody's name. Oh Lord, whoever vowed I will not carry my baby, let your vengeance cut the person off. Oh, it is scriptural. My counsel shall stand. And I will do all of my good pleasure. What is his counsel? Be fruitful and multiply. Oh Lord, whoever vowed that we never make, there are people in this church that are not making progress. The path of the just is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. And yet somebody has locked you with mortar. Mortar they are using in pounding, pounded yam. Somebody have locked you up and said that you will not rise. Today their mortar will catch fire. They have collected your family picture and they have caged everybody. Oh my God. Whoever sponsored that arrow, my fire come against them in the name of Jesus. So you must pray specific and targeted prayer. Oh, I remember the testimony of one brother in Canaan land. <laughs> An occultic man in their office made sure he never rise. He prayed with his heart a vengeance prayer the following day he went and anointed the office the man turned to a lizard not in the dream physical he killed the lizard after he killed the lizard the man came to his office and was confessing after he confessed he slumped and died hear me today is your day anyone behind your misfortune your troubles any man or woman reproaching you with their mouths 
Anyone sponsoring blackmail against your life. Anyone sponsoring shame for you. Behind your family tears. Vengeance will strike them now. Rise up to your feet. Are you ready to pray? Some people's resorts are hanging in the coven. With their good results, they are reproached. Good results, first class. But it's living a past life. Not even third class life. A past. You are going to pray now. You have six minutes for this prayer. If you like, be watching you know, the looking people that are praying here. Yeah? Just be looking people that are praying. You can be looking at me. Hear me? I want you to pray. Enough is enough. If it's a force that is doing you, that force must let you go now. If you are saying amen, say it better amen. amen. Whoever write it down i said so whoever vowed a vow that that laughter that marriage that door that baby will not come i make a decree on this altar the person will expire any person that vowed that you will live in pains, in depression, in frustration, in shame. Hear me? 24 hours too much. Vengeance will pick them up. <laughs> Studio, put prayer one. Oh God of vengeance, arise for me. Stretch out your hand of vengeance against those who has vowed not to let me rest lift up your voice and begin to pray lekado sotone reshita pelatora tekniku jekosiria mekredine ezolia keto jekoka kekale repolai latoria mendolosh oh god of vengeance arise for me Stretch forth your hand of vengeance against those who have vowed not to let me rest. Whoever has vowed not to let me rest, whoever has vowed not to let my wife rest, whoever has vowed not to let my children rest, whoever has vowed not to let my family rest, oh God of vengeance. Stretch forth your hand of vengeance. Lay them to rest. Lay them to rest. Lay them to rest. Zekona potelich. Ilado zekloperiata. Inakuka terete. Sheko terete. Irabona kutalush. Sheko terebe Oh God of vengeance. Arise for me. Stretch out your hand of vengeance against those who has vowed not to let me rest. Lay them to rest. Let your vengeance lay them to rest. I invoke your vengeance. Lay them to rest. I invoke your vengeance against them. Lay them to rest. God of vengeance, arise for me. Lekodobo shikate, jekuti to leberosh, inagero si kotele rich, izano taka laga ragados, jeko leberegedos, elo beregedegedegedegedes, laga raga daga 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 yas, ino dogo rego logo dogo 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 dos, jeko teri yaga daga daga yas, lay them to rest. Every attacker on assignment. Against my assignments, God 
Avengers. Lay them to rest. Any attacker fighting my family, God Avengers, lay them to rest. Labude Rusa not alesh. E peliodo lekuta ta ikalato jekotarea menderosa legerebe legedegede jekosikota. Any enemy fighting my plan, fighting your plan and purpose for my life, fighting your plan and purpose for my wife. Fighting your plan and purpose for my children. Oh God of Avengers, stretch forth your hand of Avengers. Lay them to rest. Lay them to rest. By your vengeance, I decree. Let them go down today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Prayer to whoever, whatever, has vowed to abort the plan of God for my life. Oh God, arise for me. I command vengeance against them. The plan, God said, I know the plan that I think towards you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. <laughs> to give you a future. A hope. An unexpected end. And one man, one woman, is <laughs> saying that over their dead body, will they see that plan come to pass? I stand here praying for you. Whoever vowed that the plan of God for you, for your wife, for your brothers, for your sisters, will not come to pass, they will be laid to rest. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Whoever. Has vowed. Whatever. Whoever. Whatever. Has vowed to abort. The plan of God for my life. Oh God. Arise for me. I command your vengeance against them. Le corande, je conondo, reclutate, jiso, likata, rebalish, ezoresh, ekopari, nekolakote, je sozilata, reduna silete, je cloperado, in cayeta, laboro, shigolo, berata, in le bebe 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 rusa, en liakoto, je conareata, en la bregodo, je golagaraga daga ligorogo dogo zilata. Whoever, whoever, whatever has vowed to abort the plan of God for my life, oh God, arise for me. I command your vengeance against them. 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 Lendi Arosha, Lendi Arosha. Enagelo tekuta, jekotare kalapa, berateka, jesuso, jegarakateri, jegarakateri, ino berato, jeglerande galigada, jelande garigada, jelande garigada, rabalagada gada gada gada. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you. Any man or woman that is networking your going down, networking your shame, I decree by vengeance, let them be broken in pieces. I decree by the vengeance of the God of Oyedepo, let them be broken in pieces. Whoever is that witchcraft woman that has vowed you will not marry, 
that has vowed you will not carry your baby. 36 hours from now. Let the person swell up and die. Let the person swell up and die. Any evil padlock they have used to lock up any issue in your life by the vengeance of God. Let their evil padlocks scatter by fire. Anywhere they have taken your picture to or taken your family name to to shoot arrow at you I decree by the vengeance of God burn the snake in their camp today the high priest they have hired I decree he will drop dead the person that brought the money that they used to go there let the person sleep and not wake up The person that masterminded the attack. Let the person swell up and die. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever is their source. That is giving them courage to sponsor attack against you regularly. Let their source dry up one by one. Amen. I command angels to close their business in the name of Jesus. From that business they are using to sponsor arrow at you. Let their business close up in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whoever is involved in planning your death. That prayer is for somebody now. Whoever is involved in planning your death. I decree from this second. Let the angels of death spread their wings against them. Let the angels of death spread their wings against them. They will die your deaths. The deaths they are prepared for you, let them go for you. Let them go as a ransom for you. Say better amen. Anyone sponsoring kidnappers for you. Anyone sponsoring hired assassin for you. That prayer is for somebody. I decree today let their car knock engine. As their car knock engine, let them die inside their car. Let vultures eat their meat. Say amen like a believer. From this second, I decree confusion in their camp. They will begin to kill themselves. They will begin to kill themselves. They will begin to kill themselves. The principal actor. Between now and 12 midnight. Let the person run mad. Let the person run mad. I release against the person the spirit of insanity. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Wherever they tied and lock you up, by the vengeance of God, I release your progress. Wherever they place an embargo over you and your family, by the vengeance of God, that siege is broken in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. Whatever belongs to you that has been withheld by forces of wickedness, by the vengeance of God, I command them to surrender to you. So shall it be. Before June, you will marry. I said, Before June, you will marry. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever they have done to you in the realm of the spirit, I decree by this communion. That evil handwriting is deleted. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Amen. All eyes closed. You are here, you are not born again. You want to make it right with Jesus. So that you can be a partaker of this prayer. 
wherever you are inside and outside put your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me lord jesus i come unto you today i know that i'm a sinner forgive me wash me with your precious blood i reject sin i reject satan come into my life be my lord be my savior in jesus name i pray if you pray that prayer with me wherever you are come forward right now i want to pray with you put your hands together for jesus if you're coming come